Bonjour, dickheads Salut les Français euh, Si vous parlez pas anglais, il euh, y aura des sous-titres français pour cette vidéo, donc il suffit de les activer dans les sous-titres dès maintenant. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about the Harry Meghan Oprah uh, interview, which I have not yet watched. So before we get into it, uh, I need to talk to you about today's sponsor, uh, NordVPN, because without these guys, this video wouldn't even be possible. Let me tell you why. The problem is, I live in Paris, and the problem with that is that Paris is in France, and the problem with France is that the French media love to dub everything. If it's not in French, they'll dub it into French, right? And sometimes, if you're lucky, you can turn the French voice off and have subtitles instead, which is great. For some reason, this interview, they didn't have subtitles. The only way to watch it is with French voiceover on top of the English one. I mean, just listen to this, it's horrific. Le mariage était la plus belle image que quiconque ait jamais vue. Mais à travers cette image que nous voyons tous dans les coulisses, il se passait tout un drame. So there's absolutely no way I could watch this interview dubbed into French. I'm not doing it, especially when I can still hear Harry and Meghan and Oprah talking in English underneath it. The French media and dubbing is like English people drinking beer. We consume way too much of it, and by the end, your ears are bleeding. Come on, England! Way! So, the only way to watch this interview in English was either to get a VPN or to get a train back to the UK uh, to go visit my mum. But who wants to go back to the UK now? Have you seen the state of the country? I can't even get into the country. So I thought, you know what? Let me call up the guys at NordVPN. Not only did they hook me up with a VPN, they're actually sponsoring this video. Now, NordVPN is unbelievable. Uh, the best part about it is you can actually tell your phone or computer that it's in another country uh, and access things in another country that you wouldn't normally be able to do. Like, for example, if I go to the American website, CBS, which is where the interview was originally broadcast, I just get a massive rejection, a harsher rejection uh, than I did when I was at school as a kid in love. But now, thanks to NordVPN, pow, I'm in there. And not only can you watch things like CBS, but Netflix. Now, because it's NordVPN's birthday, they're being even more generous than they normally are. Uh, so here's what they're doing. If you sign up for the two-year plan, uh, not only do you get one month for free, but you also get a free gift. And that gift is either one extra month for free, another year, or two years for free. But not only that, you get 70% off the two-year plan. So basically, uh, the two-year plan ends up costing €2.85 per month, which is unbelievable to be able to access the content from the whole world. And on top of all of that, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not happy with it, you can get a refund. Come on! What more do you want? So, if you're interested and like me, you hate dubbing, then head over now to nordvpn.com slash Paul Taylor uh, to take advantage of all of this. All right, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to watch the famous interview. I'm going to watch it with you guys. As I said, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm going to log into my NordVPN, I'm going to watch the interview, and I'll let you know my thoughts. I'm sitting down with Megan. I think what we really have got to clear up here is that you, Megan, are the one who manipulated, calculated this Megxit. And later, Harry joins us. What was the tipping point? Did you blindside the queen? Hi, girls. Oh, oh, you've got to love American TV and how dramatic it is with the music, the questions. Everyone's like, oh, oh, what? What did you just ask Oprah? Really? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa. <laughs> you really are having a baby. Having a baby. That's more than a bump. I'm already annoyed. I don't know if it's just the British in me, but the, just the Americanness. Of, oh my God, you're having a baby! <laughs> do you know if you're having a boy or girl? We do this time. I will wait for my husband to join us, and we can share that with you. Okay, that would be you. <gasps> you are not getting paid for this interview. All of that's correct. All of that's correct. <laughs> Megan might not be getting paid, but we do know that Oprah got like seven million dollars for this incident. Seven mi hey, NordVPN, hook me up with some millions of dollars, please. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. And if you're going to marry a royal, then you would do research about what that would mean. Well, I didn't do any research about you didn't what that do would any mean. Research. No. 
I've never looked up my husband online. I just didn't feel a need to because everything that I needed to know he was sharing with me, right? Or no, no, no. You didn't research your husband? Are you kidding me? That, it, it's impossible, it's impossible. Oh, what, he told you everything that was going on with the royal family? Piss off. If you're on Tinder and you see somebody, you, re you type in their name into social media. How are you not researching your husband? The Prince Harry. <laughs> oh. oh, first ad break. Nine minutes and 30 seconds in classic American TV. Let's go. The day after our interview, I stopped over to Harry and Meghan's new home. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, Guy's been, Guy's been through everything with me. The dog's called Guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. Oi, Guy. Guy, come here. I expect Guy to be drinking beers down the pub, just be like, all right, Guy, all right, mate, fucking way. All right, Guy, are we have how many pints are we having, Guy? All right, Guy, fucking hell, mate. <laughs> I was silent. Um, were you silent or were you silenced? The latter. Oh! So how oh, shots fired! Shots fired! What was going on with you internally at that time? That was the last day of the tour. You know, those tours are, I'm sure they have beautiful pictures and it looks vibrant and all of that is true. It's also really exhausting. So I was fried and I think it just hit me so hard because we were making it look like everything was fine. I have to do that on a regular basis, come on. I do stand up tours, I go around the country, around the world having to be on stage, make people laugh, and inside, I'm jet lagged, I'm hating every moment of being in another country. It's not true, I fucking love touring. It's unbelievable, and I cannot wait to get back to it. You know, we knew I was pregnant, we now know it's Archie, um, and it was a boy, we didn't know any of that at the time. So we can just talk about it as Archie now. And that was when they were saying they didn't want him to be a prince or a princess, not knowing what the gender would be, which would be different from protocol and that he wasn't going to receive security what it was really hard what do you mean he wasn't going to receive security he wasn't going to receive security but surely he's with you and surely you've got security no am i missing something there it's like saying my baby daughter doesn't have a car well, no, but I have a car, so by default she's got a car. And then when she's 18, uh, she'll get her own car. So maybe that's it, when uh, the prince is 18, he won't have security, like, in his, you know, once he leaves. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I can see that. But surely, at that point, you've got enough money uh, that you can hire a security guard. Like, one of my mates who's a stand-up comedian in Paris, he has a security guard. Because, I mean, you guys, I mean, they've got to be earning more money than my mate doing stand-up comedy. They must be. Come on. Really? I was, I, I was with, I was with this, situ I was with her. Because I know uh, being in the public eye and always having to smile uh, all the time is really difficult. And it's the same thing. If I'm on stage, sometimes I'm in a shit mood. Something bad has happened, whatever. And I don't, but I, but people have paid to come and see the show. So I have to smile. And I have to pretend that uh, I'm in a funny mood and that we're laughing and stuff, but inside I'm dying. But that's just part of the job, right? He wasn't gonna receive security. What about Guy, the dog? He doesn't have security. Do we need a security guy for Guy? What's the situation? The security guy for the chickens? Come on! This went on for the last few months of our pregnancy, where I'm going, hold on a second. That your son and Harry, Prince Harry's son, were, was not gonna receive security? That's right. I know. How, how, but how does that work? How does that work? Um, but the idea of our son not being safe. So I, I still don't understand how he's not going to be safe. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Somebody let me know in the comments of, I don't understand what the issue is here with the safety. And also the idea of the first member of color in this family not being titled in the same way that other grandchildren would be that's a good point like that ugh, we're coming across racist aren't we there the english royal family 
That seems that seems pretty suspicious. There's some suspicious behavior going on in the royal household or the royal family or the firm or the institution, whatever it's fucking called. There's some suspicious activity there and I'm not having it. Well, it's not up to me. I don't, it's not, <laughs> I'm not having it. What are you going to do, Paul? Fucking knock on the palace door and be like, Oi, make this guy a prince, will you? And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? And who, who is having that conversation? There is a conversation. Hold up, hold up. There's several right now. There are several conversations. There's a conversation it. with you, with Harry, about how dark your baby is going to be, potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. Oh shit! Now it's getting real. That's fucked up, man. How dark his skin is gonna be? Why is that even a question nowadays? I don't understand. I still don't understand. It's not a fucking beer. You know, you're putting all the ingredients, the water, the malt, the barley, the yeast into a thing, and you're just sitting there watching this new beer being brewed inside of a tub. Uh, and you're just like, oh, I wonder how dark that beer's gonna be. I mean, that would be an appropriate phrase to use when you're brewing a beer, not when you're brewing a baby inside of a fucking human being, especially in the year 2020 or whenever he was born in what, in 2019? Didn't I say that the race, there was some racist that, I mean, now we're really coming across as racist. I, I say we as if I'm part of the royal family. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Man. And you're not gonna tell me who had the conversation? I think that would be very damaging to them. Okay. Of course it would be damaging. Fucking have it. Fuck, man. That is unbelievable. Look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry, especially, um, because I know how much loss he suffered. Mm -hmm. But I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would do it. And I, I just didn't. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. Fucking hell. I mean, I don't, I don't even have a reaction to that. It's fucking mental. We are going to take a break, y'all. And <laughs> Harry's going to join us. We'll be right back with Harry. We're going to take a break, y'all. That's the, I mean, that's the best part. I mean, I... <laughs> Megan said she wanted to wait until you were here to tell us. I completely forgot about the fact that they know the gender and that was the reveal at the beginning. <sighs> is it a boy or is it a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> After their move, Harry and Megan say security normally provided by the royal family, was cut off. Okay, so we talked about security. Fair enough. All of their security was cancelled, but I'm sure they're not poor, so they can probably afford security. Again, maybe I'm wrong. Megan, Harry, and Archie relocated to Los Angeles, where media mogul Tyler Perry offered them his home as a temporary refuge. He also provided security. Three months later, they bought their own home and settled in the Santa Barbara area. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. How do you go from couch surfing to buying a house in Santa Barbara within three months? Fucking hell. Show me the secret. I want to know the secret. For all these years before Megan, you were living your life as a royal Prince Harry, the beloved Prince Harry, mm -hmm. and that you were enjoying that life. We don't get the impression that you were feeling trapped in that life. Enjoying the life because there were photographs of me smiling while I was shaking hands and meeting people? No, because there were photos of you naked in a hotel room in fucking Las Vegas, Harry. Come on! So your story with the prince does have a happy ending. <laughs> you know, Oprah was, was waiting for that question. Oh, she was loving it. Oprah prepared that one. She woke up in the middle of the night and was like, I've got it. I've got the final question of the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 1.34 in the morning. Uh, the interview is now over. Here's my take on it, ladies and gentlemen. Harry and Meghan 
Oprah interview. A lot of fun stuff in there to make fun of. A lot of serious stuff, a lot of dark stuff, a lot of uh, unhappy thoughts. In general, it's just like, I feel, I, I understand where they're coming from. Whatever job you've got, you've got people above you, frustrations, things that you want to get out of, things that you want to leave. And so I, I can fully um, empathize with them. I don't know. It feels like it was boiled down to a couple of things. It seems like the security thing was a massive issue. Like it, 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 they talked more about security than anything else during that interview. The main topic was security. <laughs> For me, that was the funny bit. The serious stuff about mental health uh, and not wanting to be alive, that kind of, that was the more serious and more like, you know, you, the more relatable stuff, so to speak, because it's the security stuff, I mean, I, I can't really relate, the, 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 the mental health and the depression, uh, I can relate to, the wanting to get away from the system, I completely understand, which is why I've turned to YouTube, I'm doing stuff on YouTube independently, rather than going through the institutions of uh, TV and traditional media here in France, uh, so I kind of get that, again, on a mini, mini scale. But the most shocking part for me was the whole racist remark. How dark is his skin gonna be? Oh my God. Having said that, it depends who in the royal family that phrase came from. Because, you know, you've all, everyone's got a racist grandmother, a racist granddad, and they come out with phrases that to them sound okay, uh, but to the rest of us sound ridiculous. I mean, there's countless stories that I've heard from people's grandparents saying crazy stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I can't, I can imagine an old person being like, oh, I wonder what color he's going to be. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And everyone's going, Granny, shut up. You're not supposed to say that nowadays. I don't know, but it seems like there were multiple cases of it, which is, it's disgraceful and it's, 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 uh, it's embarrassing and it puts a really bad name on the royal family, but not only on the royal family, like on British people in general, but it was a, it was a, it was an eye-opening interview. So thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to watch this interview in my own native language without the French dubbing track over the top. Oh! And as I said, YouTube is now my full-time job, so join me every Monday, 8 p.m. French time. Uh, I'll be here in the studio with a guest uh, and a beer uh, to talk with you guys live on YouTube on my other channel. So come and join me over there. Uh, and I'll see you very soon for another video on this channel. Bisous. Bye.